Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I want to talk to you about a new CA glue and activator that we just got from a company called Tight Bond. It's a PVC trim adhesive, joint adhesive, and some instant bond accelerator. All right, but before we get started, there's something I need you to do for me first, and that's click that subscribe button because we're trying to get up to 19% of you guys actually subscribe to our channel. We're at 18% right now. So let's get that average up. Woo, woo. This stuff's pretty cool. Um, I'm excited about it. And that's why we're kind of doing a new video. We've used other products in the past that we like, but as technology and new products emerge, we're always trying to find that next greatest thing and try to stay on top of the trends. And we feel like this company is putting out a really great product and they sent me some for testing so I didn't have to pay for this. I don't even think it's available yet at local hardware stores, but it's coming soon. So uh, this stuff is called PVC Trim Joint Adhesive. Bonds PVC miters, scarf and shiplap joints in 60 seconds, ready to use, 100% waterproof, strong permanent bond. Okay, so usually PVC, they're talking about white PVC trim. That sometimes applies to us, but more application wise would be PVC decking, obviously. And in particular, I'm constantly gluing little pieces of wafer thin PVC end grains onto the ends of my deck boards because I don't do a whole lot of miters. I'm known as the anti-miter. <laughs> so you can put in a evil laugh there, Calvin. What we're trying to do is come over here and you see the end grain. This is, we could just paint this. I mean, I have paint. I could just paint the end of this with some end grain paint and that'd be, that'd be okay. I used to do that. But now what I do is I glue this piece on here like this and give it a factory edged look. And then I paint this little tiny edge here to blend in. So it just looks like a factory edge trim piece, okay? Usually I make this a little bit thinner. These got a little thick, but these are kind of dangerous to make. If you're gonna do them, you do them on a table saw and you use a push stick and be safe, you guys. A couple of people have actually sent me patterns to make a jig to be able to make these safely, even safer than the way we make them. And thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate that. Um, one of those days, I'll probably make one, or better yet, why don't you guys make one and send it to me, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna mock this up for you and go ahead and get it installed because this board is gonna be installed here in just a minute. So we have our trim glue, we have our instant bond accelerator. Now this is the takeaway, which we'll talk about in, in a minute in, later in this video. I did some testing with this instant bond accelerator it did not stain the surface of my deck board. Now that's really important. Let me repeat myself. This brand did not stain or yellow the surface of my decking, which the other brand does. Actually, several other brands do. And I was shocked when I just sat there and sprayed it for three seconds and let it liquefy on top of this deck board. And I couldn't tell where I sprayed it when I was done. We're gonna run that test for you again and let you guys decide what you think about it. I'm just a catalyst, okay? Enough talking. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna add the glue to this piece. I'm gonna put the accelerator on this side right here. And then I'm gonna go like this and I'm barely going to touch the top. And then as I bring it to the board, I wanna make sure I'm flush up here. All right, so I'm gonna take uh, some of this glue and I'm gonna apply it all over this piece. But then I'm going to spread it out equally. All right, so our glue is spread on our piece and ready to go. We're gonna throw a little bit of this accelerator on here. Normally, because I'm so used to boards fading or yellowing out, I would protect the end of this or I'd flip the board over. As I do more testing, I'll probably report back to you or we'll shoot it in another video or whatever, or leave a comment below and see if we can keep a thread going on this product. But you don't have to spray a whole bunch, but I'm gonna give it a healthy amount, okay? It's a lot drier spray than what I'm used to. So now we have a piece that's all glued up. Like I said before, I'm gonna just get it barely attached at the top. So the rest of this is still loose. And then I can make micro adjustments to it as I bring it on. And then I have 10 seconds to kind of just hold it here. One alligator, two alligator, three alligator, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten alligator. All right, that thing is locked on. I can't pull it off. So the next step, I have these sharp edges right here. So I'm just gonna, hone those out a little bit just to kind of make them look factory. Like this is a factory edge. And then I'm just gonna lightly shave it 
on the ends like that. So I had the bottom corner get a little low on me so I was able to still pull it away because I hadn't completely pushed on it. And now I'm re-gluing it. But instead of throwing the activator on there again, I went ahead and I'm just gonna hold it for 60 seconds. My finger's already starting to glue to it. But now I've got it a little more flush. After that, once I file it and then I paint it, you're not gonna be able to see that. We're talking a 64th here. Sticking pretty good now. Okay, so I'll finish filing that bottom. That feels pretty good. Dark hickory, it's a, a color we trim in a lot on our decks. We get a $4 sample of bare stain from Home Depot. This one's got three quarters gone. It coagulates and you gotta clean that off once in a while. And pretty soon it's getting pretty nasty, but it's plenty good for what I gotta do with it. We usually have a set of paint brushes on site, but usually what I just do is take my finger and I'll just come along and kind of run it along the trim edge of the board, like so. And then I'll take a rag and just go like that real quick. And there you go. That's one side. I just gotta flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. And I know I noticed when I sanded this, I'm still just a little bit thick. So if I want it perfect, this is where I'll grab a blade and I'll come in and I'll just shave this a little bit. Not a bunch. There we go. It's all about being a craftsman, guys, right? Okay, and then I'll go ahead and I'll take that file and hit that again. Now, you're not gonna really see this side because it's in. I still like to make sure it fits fairly nice. Now, we'll go ahead and paint that. Now, this, this deck board's gonna be 20 feet up in the air, so not a lot of people are gonna see it, but it'll look great uh, even from the ground or even, you know, if you're on the top deck looking down or something like that. All right, so there you go, guys. There's the finished look. The paint's still drying a little bit, but now when you come around the side of this board, you can see it has a factory edge on this edge, and now it also has a factory edge on this end grain, which is kind of cool. So uh, we, we take this as a premium approach to trimming out our decks, and we really like the way it looks. Now I can actually face screw through this and cortex it, and it's, I know it's gonna stay locked in place for many, many years. In addition to that information, I thought I would show you guys the difference between a competitor's activator and what it does to the edge of a deck board and this uh, tight bond activator as well, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this right onto the deck board. And then I'm gonna spray Tight Bonds Activator right here. So this is where I sprayed the 2P10 Activator and this is what it did to my deck board, which is unacceptable. That'll stay like that forever. Over here where I sprayed the Tight Bond Activator, I can't even tell I sprayed it on there. So you're getting the same result with the products as the Activator part, but you're not risking damaging your decking. I've had at least 25 direct messages of people asking me how to get rid of this because they got too sloppy with it. Now my answer is easy. I'm just gonna tell them, get this instead of 2P10. All right guys, so to be fair, this is 2P10 glue. This is their thick rubberized adhesive. So it has a RT rubber toughened, it says. So this is what I was normally using to glue up my boards. So I'm gonna pour some of this out in a blob. Okay, just for giggles. And before I tilt this, I'm just gonna let it sit here. And then I'm gonna squirt a blob of this tight bond on here. And here we go, I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees. So you can see that the 2P10 is dripping and the tight bond is kind of staying put. All right, so now I'm gonna take this PVC trim glue and I'm going to apply it to this, just this end grain of a cut deck board we have sitting here. Okay, I'm gonna give it a healthy amount, but not overdo it. I'm gonna smooth it out. Okay, then I'm gonna spray some tight bond on it, some activator. And I'm just gonna see if I can glue these together. So sometimes when you use a lot of glue, you gotta wait a little more than 10 seconds for it to cure. I was surprised, because one time I used this glue, it didn't really cure up real quick, but I held it for another 20, 30 seconds, and then it was solid. So I think that that's probably good. We'll just let that sit there for a second, and then we'll see how it does as far as tension. Wow. Okay, that's really starting to harden up really good right now. So I'm pretty sure I can break this joint, but what we'll see when we break this joint is that the two pieces have bonded together, and there's gonna be a little bit of material 
on each side. All right, so we've waited a few minutes. I just thought maybe I'd try to break this real quick and we could take a look at the seam and see how the glue did, right? You guys ready? So as you can see, there are parts of this that are stuck. Parts of this are stuck to this, and parts of this are stuck to this. And you can kind of see where the activator took shape on part of this as well. So I didn't have to press extremely hard, but that would be a difficult seam to keep from breaking. It would, it would probably help in an expansion and contraction like this, but when you're doing this, you know, obviously we knew it was gonna break. But I've actually taken these boards before and just tossed them in the air and let them hit on concrete and they've stayed together as well. So I think it just depends on how long you let it cure before we did this. We only let this cure for a couple minutes and I think for full strength, it says 60 seconds to start, but I bet you it's longer than that. 30 seconds and 20 seconds for initial set. But usually these things have a cure time of much longer, like you know, so many hours or whatever before they reach full cure. All right, so thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, hearing us out on this update. And I appreciate you guys. If you like this channel or if you like what we talked about today or you learned a little something about CA glue, please click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content, which is usually three days a week. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you in a timely fashion. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.